Hi, Thrifty Friends. It's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Did you see that? I need to do some dusting. Oh, look, it's all coming down. And there's, oh, heavens to Betsy. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> uh, yeah, where am I? I hope you're all doing well. We have had some nice spring weather. And... Uh, 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 that kind of threw me off. Sorry. I got out to some of my favorite uh, thrift shops yesterday, uh, got a bunch of stuff. So I'll have a few videos coming along. Today's video is uh, vintage linen and vintage sewing notions. Let's start. Okay. Grabbed all these. Mostly they are small. So they will be for junk journals. Nice little crocheted doodaddy things and I won't show all of them in great detail there's three of those this is kind of funny I love the um I love the the kind of homespun looking linen but I'm not quite sure about this this reminds me of my hair in the morning <laughs> and there's another one with the dreadlocks as well so not sure about that look at this pretty Pretty, pretty little pattern and someone's done a bit of crochet here. I have had, I've gotten these once before and it looked, it was a little kit I imagine that you cut them out and you sewed them together. We've got Santa on both, both sides of this one. And then we've got Santa thinking about coming down the chimney, says Merry Christmas. These are so cute. I don't know what I did with the other ones I had. This one's not spectacular but it's very nice i like this one again on that sort of homespun linen and someone's done a little embroidery there sorry about the lighting it's really dark today and oh excuse me itchy nose another little lovely little doily and one of these and one of those <laughs> i'm not very good at i love these pot pot holders, pot lifters. I love the colors on these ones. And just a little dresser doily, I would imagine. And these are cute. These are definitely going to get used in a junk journal. I got two of them. And what? Oops. One of those. And one of those. I'm not sure if it goes that way or that way. Okay, it must have been dust. My nose is getting itchy. And that, and another little linen one, little one done on linen. And I'm not sure what this shape's all about. Flat on this end, round on that end. But you know what I see is the spine of a junk journal with that. So that's a little bit of linen. And I wanted to kind of rush through that because I have this box that is full of treasures lovely old box it I don't know it doesn't have any markings on it I don't know if it was biscuits or candy or what it was it's got that uh, rhyme on it the Wednesday's child Monday's child Tuesday's child and I'm a Saturday's child and I'll work hard for my living at least I used to work hard for my living I'm retired now I turned 65 yay so that's the lid of it and it is just full of good sewing fun vintage sewing fun so let's get through it actually I think this is knitting um, it's that lovely old hard plastic that I love and uh, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it has a patent pending made in England but I think that's for you knitters which I have never done I've, I've attempted badly to do knitting so not my thing excuse me just got back from walking Jake in the rain. This taffeta seam binding. I do find this quite often. And uh, it's lovely. I use a lot of it in my junk journals and some in my jewelry. Look at this. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Little basket. I don't know if it's very old. But it's cute. And I love these. Two of them. And it's... Mother Shipton's nickel-plated safety pins made in England. 
So that must be a while back because this sort of thing's always made in China now. That doesn't look like Mother Shipton. It looks like, oh gosh, it's a character from a movie or a fairy tale or something. I can't think of who it would be. Anyways, I love this. I think a lot of it too. Look at this. Oh, turn around. Little blue duckies. And I've got quite a bit of it here. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, um, it's a cigar, cigar, Robbie Burns Black Watch. So that, that would be your Scottish cigars. <laughs> Don't think they grow tobacco. Well, maybe they do. A lot of agriculture in Scotland. But tobacco is a hot climate crop, isn't it? Like more in the southern states. Anyways, that's my geography lesson for today. A whole mess of these wonderful um, crochet hooks. I'm probably the person that did some of that fine crocheting there. This would have been her, her tools. Uh, most of them are called boys and made in the USA. And I think they, they still make, boys are still made crochet hooks. This one is kind of intriguing. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a name or anything on it, but it's, Got a cap, and I don't know if you can see how tiny that little crochet hook is. I can't imagine working with something that small, that, especially not now. My eyes are going. So, okay, what else? Just a nice little pair of scissors. There's no markings on them at all, but they're still quite sharp. Uh, this, the screw just needs to be tightened up a little bit. There's a bit of space. But they still work really well. This is the mystery item. I don't know what this is. It doesn't, I thought, oh, maybe it comes apart. In the middle there, in the middle here, there's three needles, like sharp, pointy needles. And so I'm, I'm stumped. If anybody can help me out with that, I'd love some input. Don't know what that is. Um, some thimbles nothing fancy that one's a, a topless thimble uh, but I like to collect thimbles because when I was making jewelry now I don't I don't make jewelry much anymore because I'm getting a bit of arthritis in my hands but this was one of my favorite things to make it's well, it's all all skew if I like to make a dangle coming out of a thimble. So it came out of the thimble and then had all this fun stuff hanging down off of it. So this is one I just kept for myself, but those used to sell really well for me. So um, I may do that again, who knows, who knows? Okay, what else is in here? This twill tape I find fairly frequently as well. So there's a good bash of it on there. So I do use that in my crafting. There's the requisite key. There's always a key or broken jewelry in your um, vintage sewing boxes. There is always <laughs> tons of these things. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I ever, I might have used them once, but they were so fiddly to sew on. And I've, I've got big, man working hands here so that just wasn't my thing oh and i got three of these come off there three of these they're all quite vintage uh these two don't have a marking but they are they do have the cork on the inside for the grip this one says felt grip made in the usa so they're gonna bundle together and go to my booth and more safety pins. These ones don't have a, a card or a name, but they are the good quality older safety pins, not the kind that we get nowadays. I love this. Reinforcing, darning, mending for your socks. I've never darned a sock. American Thread Company. I love that card. That's so cool. And somebody needed to see if their pen worked. <laughs> that's such, 
it's just life, eh? You, you go to write something and your pen won't work, so you do that scribble, scribble, scribble on the nearest thing, whatever's handy. So that one got scribbled on. More of these guys. There's these, I guess, are also knitting. Uh, they're, what do you call it? What do you call them? Needle Company Stitch Holders. Thank you, Stitch Holders. So I love that card. So that's good for a junk journal. And this one, how's my time? Okay. That is a price tag for 12 cents off of one of the thread. There's another off of one of the threads. I got a few older threads here. This is Art Sill, made in Canada. And apparently this thread is also used by men, I suppose men and women, who do fly tying, tie flies and fly fish. I've always wanted to try that. This one is a Coates, JP Coates. That was a company that started in Scotland. Paisley, Scotland. There's a lot of um, textile manufacturing there. Um, and these, one of these says it was made in Canada. So they must have brought some manufacturing here to Canada. 29 cents. Isn't that lovely? So what I'll do is... Um, any of these that the thread has still has some integrity, I'll keep in my own sewing box. Uh, any that um, that don't, like that's that one's still good. Any that don't will just go in my. I have a big jar, decorative jar. This is eighty-five cents, and some of them though they're so old that uh, yeah they have they haven't got any integrity. So that's just a nice little decor piece. Maybe I'll, I will have to sell some at some time because I'm getting quite a collection. Ooh. Excuse me. All right. Oh, P.S. de Resistance. I love needle books. I am such a, a fan of these old needle books and that artwork. Look at that kitty cat. Okay. There's a, uh, A, there's my Canadianness coming out. There's the needles. They're so tiny. I couldn't even think of working with needles that small. But that is so cute. And Harriet's needles. Yay, Harriet. And this, this is too adorable for words. Look at this. Little mittens done on felt. And somebody's done the little embroidery, the silk embroidery. <laughs> I think... What they need to do is go on a zipper pull. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, that would be so cute. Okay, uh, a few more threads in here. I don't know what this is. What's this? Oh, it's a screwdriver for your sewing machine that goes in your sewing machine tools. And this looks like darning needles. Yeah. Darning needles and some bigger, heavier needles. And I use these to bind my junk journals. So that will come in. Oh, there's another wee little key. Ooh, itty bitty key. Here's a darning needle. Wow. Now that's a serious darning needle. Look at the size of that. It's got... Like, it's what, like, three and a half inches long. So, that's perfect. So, oh, good, 14 minutes. I did it. I did it. I did it. Hooray. I will say goodbye for now, and I will dig out the next batch of stuff. So, take care, everybody. Nice talking to you. Bye for now.